Rise up, young women, and dedicate yourselves to leadership service. It's only when you learn to lead that you may follow. Rise up, young men. Take pride in your mind and develop it so that you can achieve the greatness you imagine. Rise up, young people, and build for us a nation to be proud of, a future to depend on, and a country to believe in. The Leadership Movement. Day, the leadership movement, a political party that puts Zambia first, was officially launched. The leadership movement is on a mission to reclaim Zambian vision and deliver the great gift to future generations, the Great Zambia. The agenda for the leadership movement is to restore Zambian honor, to restore its respect and the commitment to read. The leadership movement aims to replace the colonial mindset that believes that anything foreign is better with a Zambian mindset that believes that local is laka. The leadership movement is here to bring about the 21st century government in 2021.
My dear friends, society whose young women and men are in the constant state of slumber, we will never realize their potential. My fellow young people, you need to rise up. Thank you. Okay. done in order to attain the facts vision. On how to lead, on how to guide, on how to see ahead, on how to create opportunities for the vision to be realized, on how to educate, on how to inform and how to direct a nation in a certain direction. Mr. President, sir, this is a huge responsibility to all of us in the party. One that calls for seriousness, seriousness and indeed that needs exemplary leaders at all levels. It is now my honor and privilege to call upon Dr. Richard Silume, the president and leader of the leadership movement, to come and give this his speech and officially launch leadership movement as a political party. Zambia! Zambia! Radamayo!
We, the people of Zambia, have decided to rise up and embark on an improbable journey to chart a great future for Mother Zambia. And we are determined to allow nothing to shake us in this mission. Tough like some leather and strong like a few steel. It's land to the Zambian people. Zambia for Zambians, rich or poor. It's jobs to the Zambian youth. Tax breaks and tax holidays to Zambian businesses. It's support your local team. Local is Laka. Luck is proud. Luck is good. In these days, dark and lawless days, shines a light we can see, like the dawn of another day, that will soon come to be. Shining through the darkness, bringing tomorrow in sight. 2021 will mark the end of the old sun. And the beginning of a new zone. A 21st century leadership will emerge. A new government will be ushered in. A government that will be open for service 24-7, all year round. Anytime, anywhere. A government that will deliver the great gift to future generations, the great Zambia. It will be a Zambia where people shall dream of great things. Corruption would have died. Tribalism would have deceased. And superstition, witchcraft and satanism would have been the thing of the past. It will be a Zambia of achievements. It will be a Zambia of greatness. Government offices will be filled by people with four eyes. Intuition, imagination, innovation, and inspiration. Zambia, a great country like never before. Universities will start producing practical minded graduates who will be inventors, innovators, and makers of things. Graduates who will drive the economy and provide vision and leadership to this country. Hospitals will be places where sick people go with hope to survive and not to die of simple and treatable diseases. <laughs> Women will go to labor and have babies and not to die because of negligence. We will work tirelessly and unrelentingly to ensure that no vulnerable person is left behind. No orphan will be left to walk the streets in search of food. No widow will be left alone to fail for a family. It will be a government that feeds the hungry, that heals the sick, that comforts those who are widowed and provides shelter to the homeless. We will transform land into an asset for all Zambians. Zambians in cities, 
towns and villages. We will own land with title deeds. They will be able to use land as collateral to banks so they can access money to develop their land or start a business. They will no longer be tenants in their own country. They will no longer be squatters in their own country. Zambians will no longer be displaced from their land by anyone, be it a chief, be it a foreigner, be it government. Zambians will be able to lease their land to foreign investors only on a landlord-tenant relationship and not the other way around. Zambia will become the production center of Africa. We will transform desolate villages into agricultural mega food stores, forgotten towns into industrial powerhouses, and barren cities into skyscraper showgrounds. Concrete roads will link every home in villages, towns, and cities. Nuclear power will light the bulbs of every home in villages, towns, and cities. And Zambian-made products will flood our markets in villages, towns, and cities. We will start making things. Zambian cement will pave our roads. Zambian steel will send skyscrapers to the skies. Zambian uranium will power our nuclear plants. Zambian copper will supply electricity to the remotest villages. And Zambian made electric cars we will feel our own. We will start making electric cars here in Zambia. Kasiwe Steel will provide steel for the electric car board. Copper mine will provide copper for electric car motors. Kabiri glass will provide glass for electric car window screens. Some leather will provide leather for electric car seats. Mansa batteries will provide battery for electric cars. We will start making things again. Zambia, the 21st century paradise. We will replant trees at home, along the streets, and in all bare lands. We will restore wild animals, impalas, giraffes, and zebras, in city parks, in forest reserves, and in every hundred meter square private land. We will make Zambia green. We will make Zambia green. We will make Zambia wild. We will promote Zambian culture, Zambian art, and Zambian music. We will make Zambia the best choice destination for two hours. There will be jobs. Government will triple in size to be open for service 24-7 all year round. Anytime, anywhere. Men and women in uniform. Zambia National Service. Zambia police service, Zambia prison service, Zambia army, Zambia air force, 
and Zambia Wildlife Authority. We will double, then triple, then quadruple, then pentacouple, until no man, no woman, walks the street. In search of jobs that do not exist, there will be labor shortage in Zambia. Mine workers and pensioners will own shares in the mines. All mines in Zambia will list at Lusaka Stock Exchange. Zambian entrepreneurs and Zambian businesses will be able to own shares in the mines. Secondary industry will sprout out to process copper and other raw materials into finished products. These we will export. Zambian marketeers, Zambian entrepreneurs, and Zambian businesses will get tax breaks and tax holidays to grow their businesses so they can compete with foreign businesses. Then Zambian companies will grow bigger and better. They will go global, conquer Africa, and compete with multinationals. Zambian universities will go global, civilize Africa, and compete with Oxford, MIT, and Harvard. Zambian media we will go global, bring African news to the world, and compete with Al Jazeera, BBC, and CNN. And in this process of globalization, the Zambian Embassy in every country will be your host, your home, and your workplace. People of Zambia, the clock is ticking, the sun is rising, the new day is dawning, and this is the moment. Rise up, dust yourselves up, roll up your sleeves, and begin to wait. And we are the power. A power derived from He who forms the mountains, creates the wind, and reveals His thoughts to man. A power to change our lifestyle. A power to make things new. A power to make a great Zambia. Zambia! Thank you very much. Apply for job recruitment in the 21st century government. Register with the Leadership Movement at www.lmzambia.org.